Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we are going to detect the safety jacket. So we will check whether a person is wearing a jacket or not. So detecting a jacket is quite simple. We basically need the person's bounding box. From the bounding box we crop the jacket area only and then based on the high HSV and the low HSV range we then check under which range the jacket color falls in. We obviously need to define the high and the low HSV colors and if it falls under it we make it true or else there is no jacket which means it's false. So this approach is quite easy but yes there are few negative points of this approach as well. So let's say we are detecting a yellow color jacket. Uh, so we have defined the yellow color HSV range and someone is wearing the yellow color t-shirt or maybe a shirt then this will make it true which is actually a false. But this kind of condition normally doesn't occur because this kind of inferencing is required in industrial area where people always wear a jacket and plus this approach is quite easy from retraining a model and then doing the inferencing which is going to take some time. So let's get started. So I was actually looking online for some good resources on jacket detection and I basically found one of this amazing Intel's link which is the safety gear detection. Uh, this is basically targeted on Ubuntu Linux but obviously we can uh, take some help from this and can easily do this on Windows as well. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. So what we are going to do is we are going to take one of the functions from this source code. I'll explain you the process of what's going inside the function. So this is the function where we are detecting the safety jacket. Let me copy this and paste it somewhere in our code. Okay. So what this base function is basically doing is, so first of all, in this function, we have defined a low HSV range and high HSV range. Now let's talk, talk about what is HSV. So I have a diagram here. So in this diagram, this is the H, this is the hue, and this is the saturation. So now let's let's say we want to detect a yellow color jacket, or let's say we want or let's say we want to detect a green color jacket. So what I'll do is I'll put the value of low H as 45, which means this this range, and I'll put the value of high hue high H as let's say a 55. Then I'll put the value of saturation as maybe 150. This will be the low saturation and the high saturation I'll put it as let's say 255. So in this way, so in this way, all the jackets detected will be a green color jackets. Okay, so looking at this particular code, we can say that the low hue range is 4 and the high hue range is 8. Which means if I see this in the diagram, I can clearly say that we are detecting the 4 lies somewhere here and the 8 lies somewhere here. So which means that we are detecting a red or an orange color jacket. Now after defining the high HSV and low HSV range, th these are the three variables which are basically cropping the rectangular box, the bounding box of the person and after cropping the resulting uh, image the only resulting image comes is, is the jacket image. Uh, we then simply convert that image into HSV and then we simply check whether it falls under this SHSV range or not. Once it falls, we return true, otherwise we return false. Uh, so let's uh, integrate this with our main code. So this is our uh, main for loop where we are uh, tracking, where we are actually uh, inferencing on the results by the track detection. So I'll put somewhere here and I'll define a variable bool and I'll mention it as detection jacket status. And let's say initially make it as false. Now here I will call jacket jacket status equals to detect safety jacket and in this we need to pass the rectangular box of the person as a frame so I will make it as frame so I'll use person 
dot rect. Now this this will give us a boolean result as false or true whether a person is wearing a jacket or not. Okay. Now we need to display this. So I'll again use this put text and at the end of this I will add the jacket status part and standard to string jacket status okay so this is done now let's start testing the video so we are again using uh, the same test video in which there are few persons which are not wearing jacket and there are few persons which are wearing the jacket so our video has started so this lady is coming and we can see that this lady is wearing an orange color jacket and which is why we can see that after this time is getting displayed it is showing as one which means this is true the jacket is the, this this jacket the lady is wearing a jacket so in this case this particular lady is not wearing a jacket and that's why it's displaying zero and this particular person this particular person is wearing a jacket so it's displaying one so in this way you can use this small code to quickly integrate the safety jacket detection part in your inferencing code so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel